All right, this video is going to be short and sweet. It's going to be titled something along the lines of the unpopular but correct take on the AR-15 because I see a lot of conservatives, especially right now, the gun the gun control debate is is at an all-time high. I see a lot of conservatives falling into this trap of saying that the AR-15 is merely a sporting rifle, that, it, that it's not a weapon of war. And it's like they get down on their hands and knees, and they grovel and they beg. They say, no, please, please, gun control lobby, let me keep this one. Let me keep this because it's it's merely a toy. It, it's for sport shooting. It's for something of that nature. It's, it's not a weapon of war. Let's take a look at this tweet, right? Posted by a conservative, says, What do nukes have to do with a rifle that is not capable of being used in war? The AR-15, get this, is not a high enough caliber rifle to use in battle. I, I digress, we keep going. Not high enough caliber, apparently, to be used in battle, nor does it have a full auto setting. That much is true. So it is not a quote-unquote assault weapon, which is a term, by the way, made up in the 90s by Democrats. Well, listen, at the core of that argument is this, again, like I say, this groveling, this, this admittance almost that there's something wrong with citizens owning a so-called weapon of war. Listen, you and I have the right to own a weapon of war, and just for historical context, the AR-15, the Armalite 15, was designed by Eugene Stoner in the 1960s to replace the M14 as America's next infantry rifle. It was later bought by Colt, that's hence the name change. Colt changed the name from the AR, the Armalite Rifle 15, to the Colt M16. Later they would make another version called the Colt M4, which is essentially what you and I have seen our entire lives. This rifle has been in use since the 1960s when it replaced the M14. Tip to butt. The AR-15 was designed by Eugene Stoner to be one of the most effective weapons of war that the world has ever seen. You do not need to concede ground on this. You don't have to grovel and beg and pretend, no, 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 it's not really a weapon of war, it's just a, a sports shooting rifle and the caliber's not that big, which, just in case you need a little bit of refreshing... The 556223 caliber rifle has has been used by the United States military since the 1960s. So to revisit this tweet over here, yeah, no, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. The, the M4, the AR-15 platform rifle has been used <laughs> quite a few battles, as a matter of fact. I, I will grant you, yes, it does not have a select fire switch. It is not capable of full auto or burst fire, which is unfortunate. We should have that right, though. We should have the right to AR-15s, M4s that are capable of select fire with burst and, and full auto and you name it. We should have that right. We should retain that right. There is nothing wrong with the American people being in possession of weapons of war. Because listen, the AR-15 is not about anything other than this one fact. The people of our country reserve the right to defend themselves from all enemies, foreign and domestic, including tyrannical governments, namely our own government. The entire purpose, the entire reason the Founding Fathers put pen to paper and wrote the Second Amendment, those fateful four words shall not be infringed, is because they wanted you, they wanted me, they wanted us to retain the right to own weapons of war in the unlikely and God-forbidden instance that we would ever have to take those arms and use them to protect ourselves and our country from our government. So please, for the love of all things holy, Stop conceding ground to the people who hate you. Stop conceding ground to the people who would throw you in a freaking gulag if you gave them the opportunity. Stop getting on your hands and knees and begging to them, please, please, please let me keep this gun. Please, 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 if I tell you it's just a sports rifle, will you let me keep it? No, ladies and gentlemen. The AR-15 from tip to butt was designed to kill people. That is its only function. It might have some other secondary functions, some other secondary purposes that it might be good at, but the AR-15 is a people killer, and you as an American citizen reserve the right to frickin' own it.